All right. So you know me, I don't have a lot of time to bake. This recipe actually starts with one family size, and that's important, one family size box of brownie mix. So whatever your favorite brownie mix is, but you want to make sure you get the bigger size box that goes in a 9 by 13 pan. And then we're going to do three eggs, so they're going to be a little more cake-like brownies. oil and water. So we're just going to mix those by hand, no mixer necessary. I can't believe Valentine's Day is Saturday already. Kind of creeps right up on you. After the Super Bowl and then Valentine's Day is here already. I think we're doing a tennis thing at playing tennis with another couple or some friends on Valentine's Day. You got to do something for Valentine's Day. You don't want to be sitting home alone. Make your own, make yourselves do something fun. Get out and do something. Treat yourself to even a, a nice special dinner or dessert like this. And I love brownies because you don't have to mix them forever in a day. Once they're all combined, we're good to go. One of the secrets for this recipe is we want these brownies to come out of the pan very easily so that we can cut them nicely into bars. So we're going to do a big piece of foil. I like to splurge and get the heavy duty foil. And then we're just going to tuck it into the pan. Get it really nice into those corners if we can. So that it's overlapping. We've got lots of extra foil and that way we can get these brownies out of the pan very, very nicely and, and cut them into real pretty bars. Sometimes if you don't do this, you have a heck of a time getting whatever is in the pan out of the pan. So then I'm just going to spray this foil with cooking spray. Spray it really well so that the brownies can cut easily and nicely. And at this point, A little rip in my foil, so I'm going to do a little bit more. We'll double line this baby. Boy, I don't have to worry about cleaning up the pan afterwards either. And everybody asked about you at the big night out last night, so you'll have to come to the next one. Okay, we're going to respray that. We're gonna get our brownies in here. And then you bake these according to box directions. I don't like to overbake brownies, that's the key. Um, they tend to get a little dry if, if that happens, so keep an eye on them. Check them um, a little bit before, and then you can always bring them out before and they'll continue to bake a little bit in that pan. But once you've gone past the point, I don't know about you, but I'm not a big fan of dried out brownies. Nope, not my favorite thing. spatula and get every little last bit of that out of there. They had a great chocolate dessert last night. Um, chocolate brownies with beer, or chocolate cupcakes with beer. They made at the Appleton Beer Factory and oh man, are they good. Just want to get every little last bit of this batter out of here. If my kids were here, they'd be licking the spatula. I bet, Ann, you want the spatula, don't you? Negative. No, you're being a good girl today? Brownie batter is one of my favorites. Okay. So I'm just going to spread this out in here, get it into the oven. It's really important for these to bake and cool completely.
Oh, come on, Ann. There's a little spatula for you. A little brownie batter didn't hurt anyone. All right, so in the oven, these go about 20 to 30 minutes. And we will get back to those guys later, but we have some brownies that are already made and nice and cooled. We baked this earlier and let them cool completely. And as mentioned, when it comes to cut, cutting them, they're going to come right out, which is really going to be nice. Especially if you're doing, you know, some sort of a get together and you just want really pretty pieces to plate up. Okay, so now brownies are, are baked. Here's the really fun part of this recipe. We're going to make a lovely, um, just delicious uh, frosting. And then over that goes canned cherry pie filling. So I'm going to melt some butter. And I've got some powdered sugar. So this is kind of a cheater version of a homemade frosting, and it tastes out of this world. Um, uh, it's a half of a cup of, excuse me, a quarter cup of butter um, that we're melting and one cup of powdered sugar. And I'm just going to use a mixer to beat together the powdered sugar and the butter until it's nice and smooth. get that going a little bit. Now we're going to add to that one container of Cool Whip. And the powdered sugar just kind of stiffens up that cool up a little bit, but still makes a really yummy, light frosting. Perfect. Okay, so this is layer number two. And that's why you may need to make sure that these brownies are cooled. Sometimes I'll leave just a little bit of the edge showing so that you can kind of see a little bit of the chocolate below. All right, the last layer. And that whole black forest thing is the combination of chocolate and cherry. So we're just using some cherry pie filling. If you weren't a big fan of cherry, you could certainly do strawberry or raspberry. I absolutely love um, chocolate and raspberry. That combination together really works nicely too. So it's up to you. And you got to try this frosting. That is delicious. So then the cherry pie filling. Depends on how much you want to use. One to two cans will do it. Some people want to go heavy on the cherry pie filling, some people not so much. The most important thing is you don't want to mix the layers together. So you just want to um, make sure that that cherry pie filling sits on top and doesn't get mixed in with the cream cheese layer. 
and these are really fun. They're so pretty for Valentine's Day. I mean, you can't go wrong with chocolate at, at Valentine's Day. And then the cherries, you know, with the red, and then this whipped topping frosting with the butter and that powdered sugar really is amazing. These are absolutely delicious and just so, so easy. Taking a box brownie mix and kind of taking it to a whole nother level. And if you're looking for this recipe, you can get this recipe on our website, fox11online.com. Click on the Living tab and Recipes, and they'll be right there. Coming up, some more fun ideas for Valentine's Day. What about heart-shaped pizzas and pink fudge and a Valentine's Day check mix? So don't go anywhere. Lots of fun ideas coming up.